What's up, YouTube? All right, so we're buttoning up the car today. Time to put on the finishing touches. Pretty hyped. Coming out. Let's see, I vacuumed it. I put the cage in, but I have to vacuum it again because I had to smoke holes into this side. So I'm gonna vacuum it again, but that's fine. Time to install these custom harnesses. Uh, these are SFI approved harnesses. I'm not going to relay the brand, but you know, I got them custom embroidered to say BG Porsche. This green matching this green, and this green matching this green, you know, and the steering wheel green. So we have two different types of greens in this car. So it's not actually bad. So I'm gonna try and um tie these. Let's separate them first. Oops. And go ahead, get rid of the box there. Alright, so I'm gonna um <laughs> attempt to tie these. I'm gonna watch a YouTube video, another YouTuber tying these the proper way, so I'll get back to you when it's finished. Well, off rip, you guys can tell it already looks really nice. I had my boy sew this on, and I forgot the name of the embroidery company that made the patches. But if you need anything, I'll leave my boy's description. Mr. Acrylic Lab himself. I'll leave his info in the description. But as you can see already, it's looking really good. Really, really good. Sheesh. And here comes Jamie. Nice. Shit. This man, Jamie. You? Really, really, really hype. About to go for about a spin. Wheel. He's about to go for a spin. Frog. In the front. Yeah, that's your feet. <laughs> Freaking raining and shit. Oh, I just bust my head. <laughs> Alright, so you put it on straight. It's not on. There you go. Now it's on. Oh shit. Hell oh damn. I mean Yeah, I gotta fix that clutch pedal. Oh, that shit just went in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you got the Android shit? Mm -hmm. I still got a screen. I don't got a screen. You ain't got a screen? Damn, bro. Where your screen at, bro? <laughs> no, actually, this is valid, bro. I gotta fix the flock. It's the only thing that's throwing me off right now. I mean, yeah, you can always fix that. Yeah. Let's we'll see, we got the cage in and everything. This yeah, valid. cool, man. Everything's cool. You see, you see, you don't need a key now. Oh, let's push the start? <laughs> no, I made sure I kept that. I, it's, it, it's, uh, it's turn key to start, so. Oh. I just wired all the ignition. To the steering wheel. I ain't put no. You should put a sub in here now. The speakers are actually pretty good. Wait, how the hell you got internet on this shit? Oh, Wi Fi. From the crib. Oh, it's not no connection. Yeah. Alright, while well, Jamie goes back to his car and eat, let's figure this out. It's off rip. We're not tying this down. So we have to remove this because we're tying it straight to the cage, not to a bolt hole. So this should be easy to remove. Oh, let's get, let's get on this. Should be nice on it. And just like that, we finished these seat belts install. And man, do they look amazing. This is the fifth one. That's pretty cool. If I don't want to see it, I'll just tuck it under the seat. But damn, BG Porsche. Perfect. Really ties the car together. Also, we have a NRG steering wheel lock. So I think it's a second gen. So that's pretty cool. You can see you spin it, put the key in. Right. So, next we're gonna be installing this fire extinguisher bracket. I gotta get the fire extinguisher from inside the house. But you know, you can never be too safe. So, safety first, and we're going to be installing the fire extinguisher. Let's see, this harness is really heavy duty. Sheesh. Alright, so that's next. Right, so I think this would be the best position for it. It should be nice and locked. All 
one other place I was thinking about is uh, this side. I wonder if there's any rules for mounting a fire extinguisher other than in arm's reach, you know, close vicinity. Hmm. Interesting. But it fits perfectly nice right here. Your legs don't even touch it. It's all the way back. Like it's never there. You don't even know it's there, even though it's a big white ball. But, uh, I don't know. I guess when I go to the track, they'll tell me about myself. So, let's just mount it right here for now. And if I need to move it later, then I move it later. <sighs> See, there it is right there. Fire extinguisher clearly mounted inside within driver's reach while normally seated. Belts fastened and steering wheel in place. So, that's perfect. And, yeah, should work. So this is securing in place now. Next on the verdict, I started to install the horn. This is going to be the button for it. Perfect. So you shift and you reach. It's perfect. Um, so that's why you see all the dirt on the floor. I had to drill out plastic for this hole. So I guess we're going to be running that now. All right, so these are a box of hella horns. I still had in my girlfriend's car. So, I'm going to be installing these on the Porsche. Because I don't know where or if the stock horns work. So, let's get started. Alright, so we're going to be mounting this it's somewhere gotta go somewhere i don't even care if they're mounted together i remember before my last car it was like a, an aesthetic kind of thing where it shows through the front grow but uh these horns could simply be hidden so i guess i'll bolt the both of them in this corner right here when the pop-up headlights go up they slide open like that so Shouldn't be interfering with the both of them right there. Cause it's like this little plate right here. That's really cool. Um, yeah. So I guess this corner should do. All right. So I somewhat found a better place for them right now. Eventually, I'll take the front bumper off and try and find a spot where it should go under there. But I can't put it there because I want a clean-looking tunnel or well, wheel well. And, um, yeah, it's just like the best spot, I guess, right next to the VIN number. Hopefully the exhaust doesn't, you know, ruin these too much or discolor it. Uh, I'm not really here for the looks with these this time around. Uh, but eventually they'll find a spot somewhere under the bumper. So if you ever wired these up, it's basically really simple. It's going off the relay, so it has all of the current that it needs. It's going to need a power and a ground. Ah, nice. Via these two connectors right here. And basically it's simple. Now I have it wired up is this blue wire, which I sent over here. This blue wire is going to be the power from the relay, and then the ground, we're just going to tap it into the chassis. All right, so 30 minutes later, I'm on a bunch of tight fitment. This is actually looking really good in this corner. Like, that actually might be a showpiece. Like, as soon as you pop the hood, bow, hella horns. So that's really cool. All right, so I'm gonna wire up the rest now. Cool, cool, look really good. All right, so, like I said, I, I already in place the button in here. And I wired it so even with the steering wheel off, we can still press the horn. See, perfect. So I don't want to ignore the crap out of my neighbors by pressing it again, but the car is coming along. All right, guys, that's it. 
forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Never forget, never stop modifying.